Okay, so we got our gauges in for the green gear. This is the dash for the green gear. This is a 1973 gear. This is not a 1973 dash though. So it's a 1967 dash, which means we got two big holes and one little hole. <laughs> and Rodney, get your mind out of the, the gutter. gutter. <laughs> what would we normally have? big ugly dash pad at the top with the wood grain or black dash front with the bottom dash pad as well. Yeah, they're not very pretty, aren't not they? Not very pretty, a big <laughs> ugly grab handle up there, uh, larger defroster things that are twice the size of these. We've opted for speedometer. In kilometers per hour. In kilometers per hour, because this is going to a country that doesn't use this old miles per hour bullshit. And we've got a tachometer, and then we've got an oil pressure gauge, which is the little one. Now we've done extensive research, and by extensive research, we've looked at the other cars in our boneyard to try and work out which side the speedo is supposed to go on. Because we looked at a 63 and a 65 because on the internet, there's a yeah. variation of where the speedometer goes and where the clock would normally go. Facebook is full of experts. I'm sure there'll be someone out there who can I'm tell sure us exactly what we've done wrong here. But uh, you reference the Emmanuel. Mm -hmm. For 61 to 65 is what we reference. And it has an image that shows the speedo on the left. left. And the clock on the right hand side. All right, we're not doing a clock. We're doing the, the tack armor instead. Tack instead. So, so we're going to stick with putting the speedo on the left. There's not a lot of room, but there's our wires. Wires. And we'll get all the lights wired in and all these little wires fixed, which are all labeled by the way. And then this is our fuel gauge wiring in here as well. What it has is a finger thumb screw and a bracket. What this will do, well, this will go in from the other side. Yep. And this will sandwich from the back side. And, and it'll it, press it up against the dash. It'll press it up against the dash. That's why it's got these in it. These right. fingers in here will press it against the back side of the dash. And this is all labeled on the back as well. So that one goes in from the front rather than from the back. Correct, this goes in from the front, other from the back. I always press in from the front side, make sure it's seated up against the dash nice and tight. And then you just tighten it with your thumb. You don't use any kind of pliers or anything like that. So that looks pretty classy. And our gauges are from the good folks at ISP West. Really nice quality gauges. And we've always had really good service from them as well. As you can see, this Speedo also has a fuel gauge in it, so that will attach to the <coughs> sending unit, unit mm -hmm. in the tank, which is on order at the moment. So that's it. Brand new, but classic looking gauges for your Volkswagen.